everyone and welcome back to another video the tea on NPD and relationships so of course before we get started I want to invite you to hit that subscribe button hit that follow button and come follow me as we discover our destinies to my new subscribers and new followers welcome to my tribe and my family at large welcome back Thank you for visiting my media resource and finding value in something that I have to say. I appreciate your time. And if you like the content that I am bringing to you, why don't we let the YouTube community know by simply hitting that like button. It gives our tribe and our family right here the greatest opportunity to grow. So as you can see, I am in another t-shirt, y'all. I had to order it in red because red is one of my favorite colors. So as you can see, please visit the community tab and order your shirt today. Merchandise is available in the community tab. The cruise information, cruise of August, the cruise for August 2021 is also available in the community tab. And of course, my life coaching services, the fee schedule is right there in the community tab as well. And also how you can contact me for life coaching services. So now today in this video, what we are going to be discussing, okay, is how your departure left the narcissist, okay? Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's get into it, you know, because when we, when we think back on everything that happened in the relationship, you think back on the devalue and the discard, how that actually played out and how everything went down in the situation. I'm talking about that. I mean, all of the insidious things, all the, the lies. Um, let's not even talk about the gaslighting. OK, that one right there is enough to just drive anybody crazy. OK, the projection, the triangulation, I mean, you name it, they were running it down, y'all. At the end of that thing, they were running it down. But see, here's the thing. This is what you have to know. Now, the narcissist playing the discard, I told you that before in another video. The narcissist, they do plan the discard because the discard is part of the abuse cycle. I mean, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. And babe, let me tell you something. When they get a hold to grade A supply like yourself, okay? Because if you're watching this video, you probably had your head spinning around backwards, okay? After the whole situation went down, okay? But if you're watching this video, you're probably searching for answers or you realize that you probably were caught up in some type of, I'm talking about insidious craziness with a narcissist or someone perhaps that had, I mean, strong narcissistic tendency, but it was probably a narcissist. And that's what led you right here. Okay, babe, let me tell you, narcissists often, often underestimate their targets. And for this reason, what you did to that narcissist at departure, babe, babe, you Tore him up with what you did at the departure. See, because a narcissist is not because of that grandiose thinking and 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 that that uh self that sense of entitlement that they have. See, a narcissist don't ever think that you're truly going to escape. They truly do not believe with everything that they're doing with that love bombing. Okay, with the trauma bond, because that that is what has you addicted right there. It's that trauma bond, that up and down, that roller coaster. Okay, that right there. And that has you addicted, not to mention the gaslighting, the triangulation, the, pro, the uh, projection. I mean, everything that they have going on. The narcissist, they do all of these things to keep you stuck with them, to keep your head spinning round and round and round. But baby... When you decide that you are going to come up out of that mess, the narcissist doesn't know what to do. So 
what happens is, okay, everything is played out in the discard, right? Now, they said, you know, whether you did the discarding or whether the narcissist did, narcissist did the discarding. Baby, let me tell you something. You left them over there on that farm with that chicken, baby. And baby, you left them over there in the pond with that toad and a frog. Baby, when they realize that you have snatched the generator out of that thing, and you kept on walking with your head up. And baby, sometimes it was a process to even keep your head up because you was hurt. You were just hurting so bad. But let me tell you, the narcissist is tore up right now because you decided to leave. And wait a minute, this is not a tore up right now and they gonna get better later. No, ma'am, no, sir. They are tore up for the rest of their lives because they will never find another you. Because not only did you come in and, and set the standard in that bad boy, you are a unique individual. You, They will never find another you. They will search for you in many and never find another you. So if you wondering why you getting the phone calls, yeah, I said it and I mean it, from the family members. Oh, you know, we were just calling to see how you were doing. See, they don't want to talk about the narcissist right now. They just want to see how you doing. Okay, what they're doing is they're doing some policing, okay? They're surveying, they, they're they casing the, the situation to see what's going on. Well, we, you know, we just call to see how you're doing. You know, how's everything working out? You're doing good. How's everything? See, I don't want to say nothing right now about the narcissist because, see, the narcissist over there losing their mind, destabilizing. Because let me tell you something about a narcissist. Let me tell you about that clown bird, okay? Let me tell you about him. See, they get themselves in these types of situations all the stinking time, stinking behind narcissists. Yes, I said it and I mean it. They get themselves in this type of situation. But see, every type of supply wasn't like the supply that you gave them. Because baby, when you entered the scene, you gave that thing life. Because when, and, and I know Across the board, if you are listening to this video, you heard the family members say several times over, wow, I mean, this is, I mean, he is just, or she's so happy with you. I mean, we haven't seen them this happy. We haven't seen them, you, you know, being like, just vibrant, you know, just have so much joy. You know, we haven't seen them like this in a long time. And, and I really hope everything works out with you all because they are just really happy. They seem so alive. Now, yeah, they seem alive. Because guess what? You dying by the minute. Because all of that good energy that you have transferred off to that bird, I said it and I mean it. All of that good energy that you have transferred off to them, now they sucking all of that up, siphoning, I mean, just basically siphoning your soul out of you. And now, yeah, the so, so they, they standing tall and strong and, you know, all of that look like the, like the leaves on the tree, the tree, the leaves on the tree, a healthy tree, they all green and everything. And look, you turning brown and, and, and dusty because they're taking everything from you, siphoning all of your good energy. I mean, resources and everything. So yeah, the family members telling you, yeah, I mean, you know, we just never seen them this happy and everything but baby when that discard happened moving back to what's happening to them now now that you're gone and this is how it, you left them they calling they are texting they hitting you up on social media they're watching and every single thing that they see on social media every conversation that you have with them they are running it back to the narcissist this is why i tell you cut them all off because this clown underestimated you and now the fool is over there destabilizing. I said it and I mean it. And this is how you know that they're destabilizing. That family gonna start calling. The friends are gonna start calling. You gonna start seeing them in places that you frequent that you had never seen before. Okay, I mean, even the ones that treated you terrible at the discard, that sister and that mama, ooh, and, and them two, ooh, wait.
them two right there and, and, and all of the messy ones that were right there witnessing all of that devalue and discard now you're gonna see them coming around you might even see that daddy coming around too you know want to see how you doing but you didn't never check on me before what you checking on me now for you didn't check on me when all of the madness was going on when this clown was doing what he was doing to me and you knew about the side chick because you had her over for dinner a few times while i was there you weren't doing all of that when when all of the madness was going that's what you want to check on me for for what reason for what reason i'll tell you why because that fool is over there shut up in a room somewhere thinking about all of the madness and the mayhem and every stinking thing that they did to you and then not only that but every time they start in on that smear campaign that smear campaign turns around and back fires in their mind to them because the smear campaign is nothing more than a confession of what the narcissist actually did to you okay so if some of y'all flying monkeys watching this video let me tell you every stinking thing that the narcissist said to you about the the uh, about that crazy one that they seem to think that, that uh, this grade A supply was, everything that they saying to you is an absolute lie and you know it's a lie, okay? So it's a confession of what that bird actually did to the target. I said it and I mean it. I'm so mad. I get, they get on my nerves. These birds get on my nerves. So you sitting there, yeah, you getting these phone calls, you getting hit up on your social media because this fool is over there going through it. And not only is he going through it, but the family is too because he raging on them every time. He or she, it doesn't matter. Hey, this is interchangeable. He raging on, on, on the family. He raging on the kids because he can't get back to you because baby, you decided to love yourself. Like I told you you didn't just turn the lights off in that thing baby you snatched the generator up out of that bad boy and honey let me tell you something you left that thing without a power source but you didn't just do it for him baby you left that family without a power source too because do not forget that the family was in on it the whole time baby and they were siphoning you too for your resources for your energy because they're a bunch of birds themselves chickens ducks i'm talking about the safari and the and the and the doggone farm combined honey looking old i'm telling you it is some straight madness you over there dealing with some animalistic people that don't even have the sense that god gave a flea okay i'm talking about all of them a uh, synonymously across the board has some su selective stupidity inside of them and think you are going to sit up there and be a whole fool and three or four different kinds of crazy to stay around there with that mess so yeah I said it. They sitting there watching that narcissist destabilize because, baby, that narcissist is sitting in that room at night or that house. They done invited that clown over for dinner. Baby, the clown ain't even showing up for dinner, okay? Because guess what? They sitting up there closed up somewhere because they thinking about everything that they did to you. They thinking about all of the carnage that they left behind. You getting the text messages, you getting the phone calls, baby. Some of them done showed up at your door, girl. Listen, honey, girlfriend, let me tell you. Let me tell you something, bruh. This is what's happening, okay? Y'all better hear me and hear me good, kings and queens, okay? When you left that clown, this is what's going down. You left them tore up from the floor up, baby, beat up from the feet up. Because once you done had someone of your presence, stature, and caliber, baby, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, okay? How in the world are you going to sit your behind on the soft leather buttery, look, butter leather seats of a Rolls Royce, okay? That's what you were to the narcissist. And then the narcissist is going to turn around and take their behind over there with that new supply that they thought the grass was greener over there. And now they got to sit in a, in a, a broke down uh, pinto. Tell me how the narcissist is going to adjust to that well.
They're not going to adjust at all, baby, because let me tell you something right now. They're going to be constantly sitting there thinking about their Rolls Royce that, that look, that got snatched away from their bird behinds. I said it and I mean it. You better know your power. You better know the power. You better stand in that power because what you brought to the situation, everybody, every, from the narcissist to the children, uh, to the family members straight up across the board benefited from you, baby. You better know, trust, and believe. That narcissist over there tore up, baby. I'm talking about, but see, you, you done got up on your glow up game, baby. You left that thing, honey. And let me tell you something. You will refuse to accept that triangulation mess anymore. You got up on your glow up game after you dried your face and got done with the tears, honey. Yes, you did. And you left that thing in the mud, that pig in the mud where it should have been all the time. Now they seeing you glowing up. They seeing you blowing up. Your money is on fleek again. Your bank account is on whoop, whoop, bang again, okay? And you look, and your skin is glowing, okay? You're taking trips, you're traveling again. Look, they seeing you on social media, and I'm talking about they seeing a whole new you. Because guess what? They underestimated you. Yes, they did. And that narcissist is seeing that, and it is playing even more into that destabilization they got going on. Baby, you don't see that narcissist nowhere. Even with the new supply, baby, the new he done had to go on hiatus. Okay, even the new supply, the recycled supply is looking for him right now because, baby, he done ghosted them too. That thing is shut up, baby, because he is going through mortification. He is breaking down by the minute. That's he or she. So that's why you're getting all of them text messages. That's why you're getting all of them calls from the family, from the, look, all of the flying monkeys. That's why they watching everything you doing. Why? Because that clown is jacked up. And guess what? Leave them right there. Jacked up. Because they didn't care nothing about you when they left you. And I'm telling you, this is what's happening. Now, the family is not going to tell you that that's why they're contacting you. They're going to play it off like they just want to see how you're doing after the breakup. They want to see how everything is going after this and that. Baby, you let them know, honey, with them cheap wigs that they wearing up on top of their heads, honey. And them and, and look, and, and, and and tugging at them constantly, can't smile because I told you, baby, they can't even lift the eyebrows up, baby, because that wig <laughs> is going to slide off the back of their heads, and that's what they get, honey. And, and listen, let him stay over there with that duck, because guess what? The duck ain't even getting no attention right about now, because that narcissist is ruminating over the fact that he lost you, and baby, that rumination is going to last forever, because you were part of the narcissist karma. See, the almighty creator threw the narcissist a lifeline when he allowed you to come into the narcissist's life. See, it was twofold because you had to learn a lesson. That light had to be shined on you on the inside so you could fix what was going on because, see, you are a powerful person. You are powerful, you're beautiful, and you're awesome in the creation. Even with your scars, you're beautifully scarred. You are beautifully scarred, and you're awesomely flawed, okay? So everything, every scar that you bear, baby, it is beauty. It's not a scar. It's beauty, baby, because it is proof of your journey. Because you, are, you have purpose, and you have a destiny to fulfill. So... He allows you to come into contact with that narcissist to throw the narcissist a lifeline to give him an opportunity to change, okay? And to shine a light on you so you can fulfill your purpose and your destiny, baby. But trust and believe they are tore up from the floor up, baby. And let me tell you something else. That family is not gonna stop until they get you back because they sick of that narcissist, okay? They are sick of them and they'll lay low for a while, but then they'll start it back up because guess what? There has never been one like you, baby, and there will never be another one like you. So this is what you do when you get them calls, okay? You get them calls, you get them messages, honey. This is what you do because you, you on your glow up game. You on your blow up. You pop 
popping, baby. You are popping. Yes, you are popping. You got it. Look, you are so dope. You got it going on, baby. You don't turn around and say anything to that. You let them things go to voicemail, block them. Okay, when they hitting you up on, on social media, block Okay, no reply. Because guess what? You didn't have nothing to say to me when this clown was abusing the mess out of me. So stay over there in your hell, your personal hell that you created for yourself. You and that clown, that bird. I said it and I mean it. So listen, y'all, keep your vibrations high. You keep yourself ready to, I mean, I'm locked and loaded. You ready to do what you have to do in your life to continue your glow up. And this is what I want you to feel is empowered. Stand in your power. Don't ever let those people come back into your life because they need you, baby. You don't need them. You don't need them. So keep your vibrations high and continue to elevate your thought process and stay out of these frequencies with these birds, baby, because they are straight trash. I said it and I mean it. So if you haven't hit the like button, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, y'all. And until the next video, you all have a wonderful week. You be blessed and highly favored. And I will see you on the next video, y'all. Ciao.